All right, everyone, here we go. It's my weekly card poll. These are getting really popular, and I'm glad because they're the most powerful readings I poll at currently, to be honest. It really is. Because it's sort of our Friday reading on crack. Because it, uh, It's a time frame, and I clarify. So, here we are. The week of December 5th through the 12th, I'm going to stretch it right up through the 12-12 portal. Okay, I want all the energies in play. We're post-eclipse right now on the time I'm pulling this, which is on the 4th at about 9.30 in the morning in my house. It's going to be a powerful week, and my pre-shuffle is going to prove that to you in a moment. Um, it's a week of truth. The 12-12 the portal, as I said on the 12-12 part 1 reading, part 2 is coming this week, and it will blow your fucking mind. But on the part 1 reading, I said it's positive energy. It's, it's, it's ascension. Okay? That's, that's going up, in case you, you don't know. It's, but it's, very po it's positive energy. I should point that out. So all the fears and everything, it, it's going to all swirl around, but the fear can't get past the positive. The positive repels it because it's stronger than the negative. So it, it, it would repel it anyway, but if they were equal, it would be a stalemate. But the positive is very, very powerful here. All right. So, for the week of December 5th through the 12th, it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason. Again, I remind everyone I'm not a time lord. This could happen this week. Could happen next week. Might have happened last week for some of you. Most of you, it's, it's future influence or present influence. Okay? All right. Last week's might happen this week, etc., etc., etc. It is what it is. And that's with anybody's readings, not just mine. Nobody's a time lord. God knows I wish I had a TARDIS. Get, get me the hell out of here. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Here we are. All right. Uh, I'm going to paint a picture of the entire soulmate cycle, but I'm going to show you my pre-shuffle first. All right. One card for each sign. Each, each sign will get three clarifiers. All right. Watch everything. It doesn't matter what's in your chart. It doesn't matter. Watch what's in your chart if you want. If you're a real astrology type person, knock yourself out. But this isn't astrology. It's tarot. And it's a very powerful all signs reading. It, it blows the entire cycle up through 12 cards of the universe added up at the end. All right. Let's do it. Pre-shuffle. So what are all these energies? We got post-eclipse energy. You all saw my all signs eclipse reading. All right. And we got the 1212 energy in this reading right here. Mm -hmm. It's going to be in next week's too. <laughs> but I'm pulling it in for this one. It's predictive energy. The universe knows what's going to happen. It's just a matter of me translating it properly. Okay, when I say predictive energy, I'm a human being. I make mistakes, but I'm going to try not to. Right here, the energy is going to cause a lot of conflict in somebody. Yeah, it is. It's going to be swirling around all this super positive, powerful, super positive ascending energy against all their inner conflict. It's no match for the Five of Wands, the weakest card in the tarot. It's it's. This is nonsense. It's going to cause somebody to get up in their head. It's going to cause somebody to want to reach out, feel the need to reach out. Page of Wands. It's a, it's, it's a curious energy too, but it's going to cause, that's going to cause confusion. Seven of Cups. Oh God, what if they say this? What if they, they're very worried. I said it before, they're very worried about what you're going to say if this person actually opens up. Because deep down, it's there. The spying is going to kick up. Page of Swords. Spying will kick up over the next, over the rest of this damn month, as far as I'm concerned. But it will. And we talked about that the other day on a reading, I believe. So uh, heed my advice on that. And it's going to cause their self sabotaging to come in. It, it, it's also a card of false victory, the Five of Swords. It's someone who wants to win at all costs. Hmm. But they're going to get in their head. Hmm? You see what I'm saying? It's it's all this confusion and this and that. But I want to reach out. But uh, but I, I'm spying and I, I don't know what they're going to say. It's the eight of swords. It's in their head. It's the prison of the mind all over a soulmate connection. Something that runs so fucking deep I can't even track it. I can count how many lives there are. I can on an individual basis. Not for the general energy. There's a lot. It's powerful. It's, it's a powerful connection. That's why they can't shake it. And that's part of where their confusion comes from here. With the, and why they're in their head here. See? Someone lingering. Saying that they're lost. But they're choking on hello, man. Big time. 
choking on it. The best we can muster here is a page. But it's okay. Let them fucking sit in it. Let them fucking wake up. Let's go. One card for each sign from the animal deck. I'm going to clarify with the little light seer deck. All right. Let's go. Here we go. Let's do this. Uh, I wasn't going to show you the pre-shuffle here. I don't always do it on the weekly readings, but I'm gonna do, I did it today. It's important you understand. You're going to be picking up on some of this energy, so be cool. Just let the energy flow. It's all very positive. Even though it might not feel that way, sometimes when medicine starts working, curing all that negative, mm, you know, sometimes we get some symptoms and all of that. I equated it the other day to getting the uh, what the British call the jab, right? The uh, COVID shot. You might get some symptoms of COVID while it's working. You know, some people are down for the count for a couple of days with COVID flu-like symptoms. That's medicine. That's what it does. You know, it affects everybody differently. Some of you might go smooth as silk through this, just like some people went smooth as silk through the jab. You know, it is what it is. Let's go. Let's make sure this is working. We're having glitches over here today. The energy is very powerful. It causes computer glitches like crazy. It's like Mercury retrograde on crack. Give me one card for each sign, universe, for the week of December 5th through the 1212 portal. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. You guys ready? Yeah. What did I say? I ended my speech about the uh, pre shuffle with choking on hello. It is my choking on hello card at the bottom. It is the Page of Pentacles. Is someone, some serious truth being rammed up their ass? And they can't, they, they can try to be five of wands all fighting it and negative, but it's not going to work. It's too much powerful, positive energy. Choking on hello. They know where the fucking rainbow is. Mm-hmm. This card is, all the cards that come out, this is the overall energy. Choking on hello. Let's go. Aries, you ready? Let's do it. Aries. I'm reading the incoming energy, by the way, but roles can be reversed. Three swords. Yeah. Choking on fucking hello. Yeah. I believe it. Three swords. Somebody's feeling what they lost. Somebody knows what they missed out on here. Somebody knows what they lost. Let's clarify it. Why is the three of swords here? Let's go. This is going to be... Usually this is a powerful reading, but today I can tell you this is going to be the shit. We're opening with the first sign, right? And again, you're all connected. Every sign means something. This is not astrology, people. This is tarot. I'm pulling on energy. Yeah, the astrology pulls on the energy. But this is this. What I'm doing is not astrology. This ain't your fucking horoscope. Three swords, yeah. Feeling, I feel that. I feel, oh my God, I missed out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why is it here? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of time passed. Knight of Pentacles crossing this. Uh, they're being forced to sit in it, is what this is saying. This is a still energy on the uh, Knight of Pentacles in this particular case. It's, he stopped. He's taking a little break. He's having a sandwich. Right? Give his horse a carrot or some shit. Right here, crossing. It's, they're being forced to sit in three swords. Yeah, they are. Because of this fucking soulmate connection. Nostalgia, nostalgia, left and right. Thinking back, yeah, I missed out. I fucked up. Mm -hmm. And they're being, and they're stuck in it. They can't go anywhere. And the five of wands isn't working. Mm -hmm. Truth. Ace of swords. Realizing the truth. I'm going to say this energy is going to affect everybody. Again, I'm just painting a picture. This is like an all signs reading blown up. Okay? Into 12 little segments. That's all it is. You're all, everything matters to you, no matter what's in your chart. It doesn't matter. Yeah, this is validating the reading. That's the reading part one. Now the reading part two, from the angle of Taurus. Yeah. They're being forced to sit in it. God, to be an Aries this week. Oh, I wish I was an Aries. All right, Taurus, love geese. Oh, the lover's card. The love geese are in the air. Yeah, your person's going to be forced to feel it too. I think whatever decision they made, because your person made some kind of decision. This is a card of choice. They made a choice to go toward what they think is love. Well, away from you. Mm. I think this is the week it starts to become a mistake. Maybe a little bit. Anyway, a little bit. Okay, let's clarify it. Let's see. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Right. Yeah. Two of Wands. Your person made a choice to let go. In your case, 
Taurus, it's very clear in the energy your person let go of you and went toward what they think is a new life. I think it's a mistake. I do. I do. And I'm right. Who's your energy reader? Come on, that's ten wands right there. Yeah, I fucked up. I went, I flew, these geese flew the wrong way. They flew north for the winter. Motherfucker, why'd I follow you? This geese right here, this goose, the one behind this one is like, Motherfucker, I followed you. You said you knew where you were going. We're, we're in Saskatchewan in the middle of fucking December, you asshole. We were supposed to be down in Los Angeles with Steve. Well, mm, big burden. Mm-hmm. Three of wands. They're staying, you know, they're just sitting there. It's, it's stop, they're stopped. And I know they're stopped because underneath that was the hanged man. They're stopped. Again, we have a stopped energy. We have a stopped energy. And force, this person in the case of Taurus is forced to look at a decision they made and go, um, this wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. Gemini, ten pentacles. Gemini, your person. Again, it's the, it's the rainbow from the ten of pentacles. This whole reading is clarifying the page of pentacles choking on hello. Your person knows you're the ten pentacles. Why is this Ten Pentacles here? Something long term on their side, maybe? I don't know. I can't tell from the energy. I won't, you know, I'm just speculating there. It's not really an energy read. I just know they know you're the Ten Pentacles. That I know. It's on there. That's the first thing my intuition screamed out. They know. They know. Okay, fine. I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. You might. It's up there. Here they come. Uh, they got something they want to tell you. Yeah, they're going to be your person of all the ones I've pulled so far. Gemini, your person's the most compelled to reach out. They're a little worried about it. The bird's in the air. When birds are in the air, it's a little stressful. Probably worried what you're going to say. Yeah. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. It's slowing them down a little bit. Your person's being forced to sit. If they are in a, in a third party situation, they're being forced to sit in it. And, and they know where the Ten of Pentacles is. It's toward you. This is them booking from something else and coming toward you. It could just be a way they've been living, a way they've been thinking. It could just be them getting real. We have a page of uh, 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 eight Ace of Swords on the table. Yeah, uh, it, It's a stopped energy. It's a st Oh my God, I know where the Ten of Pentacles is. It, that, that's what this says. And I need to do something. They want to talk to you. They definitely want to talk to you. Okay? I can say that for sure. All right, Cancer, I'm out from under the table. I know y'all got your pants off. Cancers are always watching my reading naked. All right, here we go. Seven of Pentacles. They're stuck in it. They stopped. They're stuck in it. They're sitting in it. They're looking back. It's the same fucking message I got for Aries. Somebody is stuck. Your energy is feedbacking off of Aries, in fact. It is, it is someone who is taking stock, who is looking back, the timing was wrong when you first crossed paths. The timing is right now. But somebody is sitting on their hands thinking, feeling it, feeling the connection, feeling everything. It's like uh, sometimes on the card, it's a farmer looking out over his crops, right? It's that kind of, look, look at all, look at what I did. That's what your person's doing. Let's see, why is, why is the Seven of Pentacles here for the hot spot of the connection? Cancer. Why is it here? Yeah. What are they thinking about while they're sitting in it? Crossing it is the Five of Pentacles. They're thinking about this. That they put themselves out. I fucked up. This is I fucked up upright. And, and they didn't fuck up too bad because she got a key to get in. Mm-hmm. King of Swords. They know. They know. I've been telling you that. I told you that on, an, on a Cure for Cancer recently. I'm going to tell you again. They know they fucked up. They know how they feel about you. Your person is now can't. They can't suppress it. They're forced to look at it. I don't know whether they're going to do anything. We'll see what comes out after the King of Pentacles or the King of uh, Swords. Yeah, they're not. Uh, Four of Pentacles, they're going to hold back. Fear. Fear is holding your person back. Your person knows how they feel about you. They know they put you out in the cold and they're out in the cold and they know it's their fault. They blamed you at first, I bet, but now they've switched around and it's their fault. They know. They, they know. They know. And they're holding back out of fear. Fears are what hold people back in life. But it's okay. These are just the energies that are coming in. Let them sit in it. I've been saying that. I will say it again. Let them sit in it. 
Yeah, you, you, you were busy talking about what you got on your side is so great. Well, mm, it ain't, is it? Yeah. The truth comes to the surface. The 1212 portal is transformational every year. Mm, this year's no different. Leo, oh, I better not get something toxic. Leo. Oh. See, I can't, I can't even get toxic for Leo, on the, who always gets a toxic card during the 1212 energy that I'm allowing to bleed in here, okay, by stretching my weekly reading out right here, High Priestess. Your person knows too. Somebody here knows. I can't tell you apart from your connection, but somebody knows. There's a lot going on underneath the surface, Leo. If I'm talking about your person. There's a lot going on you don't know about. If I'm talking about you, you know there's a lot going on in that head, in that lion head of yours. But either way, intuition is coming up. The, the soul is drowning out the ego here for the first time in a long time for these Leos. Leo's tired of being, whoever it is, I don't know who it is. Somebody here is tired of being controlled. Somebody here, I pick up some kind of like third party situation where there was like I feel as though there was like a fight recently or a discussion and somebody turned it around on somebody in other words somebody tried to shift blame and somebody and somebody here your person or whatever isn't is had is had enough of it okay they've had enough of that all right here we go let's see high priestess why is it here for my leo yep they've had enough Two of Wands crossing the High Priestess. They've had enough. They know that soul volume is coming up. They're, they're, they're starting out something new. For a lot, I see a big change in Leo energy. I told you yesterday I'm a one card for each sign. You got an energy update coming, and you do. That's like a fucking soap. Yeah, it's over. It's done. Uh, the world, they've had enough. They've had enough. They've had enough. I told you. I picked it up from the energy, the world, most powerful card in the Major Arcana. A cycle is ending here and a new cycle is beginning. Somebody getting real. This is feedbacking off of Aries too. Aries is one of the most important card pulls I did. It really is bleeding onto a lot here. It stopped Taurus person in their tracks. Oh shit, I don't think I made the right call. Here we go. They're done. Whatever it is, they're waking up. Whoever it is, they're waking up. Inner wisdom. When I get the hermit on top of the high priestess, their inner wisdom is coming out. The soul is waking up. The soul is where our inner wisdom from past lives lives. Your person, Leo, if it's your person I'm talking about, it could be you, it, it is an old soul. That soul is waking up, right? Yours are, my job is to wake yours up. You're watching my readings. They're not. They're on their own. And it's, that's why it's taking a spell. Right there. Proof. Proof. Virgo. Mm, my Virgos. Mm. Two of Wands. Mm. Huh. A lot of Two of Wands coming up. We had somebody else crossing the two. Uh, uh, Taurus had Two of Wands crossing. Uh, Leo had Two of Wands crossing. Virgo got Two of Wands. These are important positions in the reading. Two of Wands is, uh, is setting the intention. It's letting something go and starting out on a new life. I can't tell if this is you, Virgo, or your person. Lately, I've just been getting you. I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. Why is the Two of Wands here for my Virgos? My virgins. Are they finally going to get laid? <laughs> no more virgin, right? <laughs> I tell you what. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's a message from the universe for you, Virgo. Take some brave, impulsive actions. Stick your neck out a little bit. Move yourself. The universe wants you to move yourself into a new flow, a higher flow, something a little higher up than what you're focusing on. It's very clear here. Um, yeah. Page of Wands. And I wanted to come out with it. The Eight of Wands. This is passionate forward movement. Right? But this is the beginner's mind. This is like I got a, I got the I got little sister and big sister both go to the same parties. She takes brave impulsive actions. She does brave things. She banged 19 year olds at 37, you know that kind of thing. Even though they pick on her, you know. But the bottom line is the the page of wands here. It's about a beginner's mind. It's what I told you the other day. Find that child inside there. That child is there. It's okay. Go ahead and let it let it so let that energy flow in. It's still there. 
And if you do that, you're going to move on to a new level. This is, this is huge forward movement for you. And you're right on the precipice of it. I think some of you are still just in your head a little too much. Libra. Two of Pentacles. Lots of twos. You see the twos, people? <laughs> it's one, two, one, two, isn't it? <laughs> it's like the beginning of a good song. One, two, one, two. Here we go. Uh, the uh, Two of Pentacles. Um, somebody is, uh, I want to call it a stalemate kind of a thing. We're, we're stopped. It's stopped. Okay, I'm feeling Mr. Stop Knight of Pentacles here on this. Why is this uh, two of Pentacles here for my Libras? I know somebody wants to talk to you. I do. You got a little bleed over here from the Eight of Wands. I know somebody wants to talk to you. I'm always transparent with you in the readings. I'll tell you what I'm feeling and what I'm seeing and why. I don't just... Uh, no taxation without representation, right? No energy reads without representation. All right? This is your energy right here off of this. It's a stalemate, but somebody wants to talk to you. Mm -hmm. They're just sitting. They're sitting in it. It's, gonna, it's, it's a huge amount of positive energy. It's forcing your person to ascend. Someone who's pretty low. You know, they drive a 74 Pinto, for fuck's sake. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for my Libras? Yeah. Nine of Pentacles. They're a little bit intimidated by the fact that, that you're the shit. And you are, aren't you? Yeah, I think you're going to get an offer from somebody out of left field. Out of left fucking field, I think it's going to come out of nowhere. You're going to hear from somebody you never thought you'd hear from. Because you're just kind of doing you. You're doing your thing, right? Kind of. You know, anyway, I mean, that's what I get. But they, they see that. You know, drives them fucking crazy. They, they got a decision to make here. Yeah, and they're fighting themselves on it. There it is, the Five of Wands. They're worried how you're going to react. They're worried. This girl here on this card, she could tell anybody she wants to fuck off. She got a falcon. She don't need anybody. The falcon could go get her food. He can hunt partridge for her or pheasants and stuff like that. Bring them back. She can cook them up. It's fine. It's handy to have a falcon. It truly is. Go, go, go get me a partridge, motherfucker. There you go. Bring it back. I'll let you eat the feet. You know, so I don't know. But either way, it's that kind of energy. Uh, they're worried how you might react. And they're fighting themselves on it. And that's why they're wishy-washy here. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But they definitely want to talk to you, but they stop. They're feeling it. It's good. Everybody's person is feeling it. Yeah, and look who came back. My little knight of wands. It's, uh, what did I just tell you? What the fuck did I just say? Rewind. I love saying that. Rewind. I said... They're going to come out of left field. I said, I think you're going to get an offer out of left field. Even though with this, I feel them stalemating and standing still. And what do I get? I get offer out of left field upright. I get brave, impulsive action. Come from fucking nowhere. Come from fucking nowhere. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. I got cards falling here. Okay. Mm. Mm. All right, hold on. Mm. We take from the top, not the bottom. We still got our little... Choking on hello at the top. Uh, Scorpio, oh, or at the bottom, I mean. Scorpio, eight wands. Wow. You got that yesterday, didn't you, in my one card poll for each sign? Didn't you get an eight of wands? Correct me if I'm wrong, motherfuckers. Again, from another deck, you get the eight of wands. Stand by your fucking phone. It is the same fucking message I had for you yesterday. You scorpion motherfuckers. I wish I was a Scorpio. I tell you, I got a lot of Scorpio in my chart. But stand by your fucking phone. I'm telling you, somebody's, somebody's coming. Somebody, something is coming. Either you're, you're getting some kind of opportunity. There's a split energy here. But, but to get the Eight of Wands from another deck two days in a row in my Scorpio position as the base card, I'm pretty sure I got that yesterday. Stand by your fucking phone. Why is the Eight of Wands? Why are you giving me two Eight of Wands for fucking Scorpio? Motherfucker universe. Come on, let's go. Why? What's going on here? What's happening? Jesus Christ. It could be forward movement for some of you. You know, it could be a job opportunity. It could be a, another person comes in. Maybe you meet somebody down at the grocery store, right? Hanging out down. I don't know. Why are you getting your Pop-Tarts? I don't know. Let's see here. Why, uh, but I do see as the incoming energy, somebody somebody's coming out of nowhere. 
You, you got the same left field kind of message here. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Yes, somebody's coming in. Uh, page of Cups. Somebody you didn't think you'd hear from. Somebody who's scared shitless to talk to you. I, mean, I bet they are. You fuck over a Scorpio one fucking time. Uh, somebody you might not even think knows you exist. It's possible for some of you, not all. Uh, but it's an apology. It's a, a love offer. It's a small explanation. And it's crossing eight wands. The second eight wands, by the way. Unreal. Yesterday, I believe that's what you got. Yeah. Seven of swords. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-mm. What comes out after that? Two of swords. Oh, yeah. Um... This person, yeah, I said it. They're scared shitless. Whatever this is, because this is the crossing card, Page of Cups. So this communication, whatever this communication is, all it's telling you here is this person's scared shitless. Sarah Gilbert here, washed up TV star. Darlene from Roseanne. Two of swords. Uh, they don't know what to do. They're standing at the crossroads with Eric Clapton. So they're going to just, their message is deceptive, is all it's saying. It's landing on, the Seven of Swords is landing on top of Eight of Wands. That literally means a deceptive message. What's deceptive about it, this is why I pulled the crossing card, is the affecting energy. They feel much more than this little boy or, or girl. It's a boy on the card. This little boy can feel. Okay? They're just worried. They're worried about how you're going to react. And I don't blame them. You fuck over a Scorpio one time, that's all you get. You don't get a second time. Sagittarius, wow. <laughs> Shit. Hierophant. Didn't you get the Hierophant yesterday too? What the fuck's going on? This is a different deck. All right. I don't know. I think you did, didn't you? I got to check that one card for each sign reading. Holy shit. I think you did. The Hierophant. Yes, yeah, the same message. It, whatever the case, you changed this person's life. This connection has changed the lives of both of you. The spiritual aspect of this connection is going to shine through in the 1212 energy here post-eclipse. This person's really feeling this. They really feel a loss here uh, of this. You're feedbacking a little bit off of the Three of Swords from, from Aries as well. Um, I, I, okay. Why is the hair up in here? My God, I should have looked at that reading. I've never had this happen before. This is a different deck. And for that to happen back to back like that, I'm pretty sure you had the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? I could be wrong. I, I mean, I know. I don't remember the readings, but that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Somebody wants crossing it. Somebody wants to work on this. Somebody's doing some work on themselves. This connection's changed somebody's life. And they can't hold back much longer. Just like she can't sit in that chair all eight hours of her shift. She got to get up once in a while. They can't. It's an uncomfortable chair. It's an uncomfortable realization. An uncomfortable truth. Right? For this person. Yeah. A choking on hello in this deck. Page of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Sagittarius, you've been getting some real magic in my readings lately. I feel an energy update coming on for you at some point very soon, too. Uh, Page of Pentacles here, it, it's, yeah, they want to talk to you. They're nervous about every word they're going to say because they realize the importance of this connection. It's really hitting them hard. This person's changing. Okay, they, they're changing. They, yep. Yeah. They're worried about it. I just got done saying they're worried about the Seven of Cups. They're worried you might have options. They're worried you might say no. They're worried, they're worried about everything. The Seven of Cups is confusion, but it's all illusion in their head. It's all, this person, it, I wouldn't be surprised to see an Eight of Swords somewhere around here. Uh, I don't have it underneath the Eight of Pentacles. It's the uh, Six of Swords. They're moving slowly towards you, but the, cause, mostly because they're worried for some reason. And, and they should be. You know, they, they now, oh, now I get it. They're beginning to understand this connection, okay? I'll just phrase it to you that way. And this energy is helping, all right? That's wild. Okay, Capricorn, my favorite. I love Capricorn, three of wands. You're on the precipice of something. I don't know what. It leads to a four of wands. I don't know what. I don't. It's just that's all I get off the card is you're on the precipice of something. Could be your person. It could be something new for you. I don't know. Let's find out. Why is the Three of Wands here for my Capricorns? Better than popcorn. Capricorn. 
Mm. Oh, I picture Capricorn having like a caramel coating, almost like a Cracker Jack. You know, I think I'm going to start calling Cracker Jacks Capricorn. I think I think that's what I'm going to do in my own life, not you know publicly or anything. Give me a box of that Capricorn. They won't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Why? Uh, why is the Three of Wands here? Why? Oh my God. All that shuffling, you got the same card crossing that Sagittarius got. Yeah, somebody, somebody's fixing to come in. Somebody is realizing your connection. Okay? They're starting to understand your connection right here, and they're thinking about it. Okay? What's on top here? Yeah, the moon. There's a lot going on underneath the surface that you don't know. This is also fears a little bit. But this is also the moon illuminates things. It leaves some things in shadows, but, but you can... A well-lit, moonlit night with a bright moon, like the harvest moon or something, you can see going down the road. Something to do with the eclipse, okay, because the moon came out. It's something to do with the eclipse that moved this person from two wands to three wands. You, you catch my drift? Okay. They're starting to realize this connection and what it is. Yep, and they want a second chance, judgment. Uh, it is. It, it's, it's very, and we even got a color match on these cards. It almost looks like the same kind of scene going on here. Um, yeah, they're starting to realize this connection. They want a second chance. Uh, they're very soon coming your way for most of you. I can't say all of you, but for most of you, I think they'll push past what little fear is here. The eclipse with the 12-12 energy is very powerful, and that's, that's a very powerful card. This is a good little spread you got here. This is a beautiful weekly spread. This is unreal. Take a screen grab of this motherfucker. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, Aquarius, my fellow Aquarians, I have a look, King of Cups, that's not bad, in the base position, that's not bad, someone holds a lot of love for you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they ain't told you about it, but they hold a lot of love for you, that's all I'm getting, okay, why is the King of Cups here, why, 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 why is the King of Cups here, why? Again, oh my God! I think you got this yesterday at some point in your in your one card for each sign. But isn't this the card you got? Jesus fucking Christ! It's the Queen of Swords crossing this. You got an important conversation coming up very soon. It's the same message from December. It's it's caused by the eclipse and the twelve twelve energy. An important conversation with someone who loves you that you don't know about. They never told you. They never gave you much of the cup. Holy shit! Oh my God! Oh my God! Somebody's been dreaming about you. It's 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 ten of cups. I think this conversation brings some closure. Is what this is saying? Okay. I think it brings some closure. It's a repeating message. Now it's the third time. Um, repeating messages in life are very important in tarot and with the way I read energy, it, it's important on crack. All right. Yeah, five of cups. Somebody feels they uh, is is sad. Somebody is disappointed. Somebody is feeling the loss of the connection. I've said all along, five of cups and three swords bring people in once they feel it. And I'm seeing it. I'm seeing over here with Capricorn and, and Sagittarius, somebody starting to realize the connection. Scorpio's person's coming in with just a little bit of feelings, little bitty, but they feel huge. I mean, it's, it's all over. It's all over the reading. Up here on this top row, we've got a lot of people who are stuck, who are sitting in it, who are just sitting in fear over here in the hot spot of the connection. We got somebody sitting in fear. Who knows how they feel? And, they, and they're forced to look at it. Like the universe got them tied to a chair with their eyeballs duct taped open. Look. Look, motherfucker. Okay. Um, we got a lot of... Someone who feels the loss here. Someone who also understands the connection or is beginning to. Uh, or is beginning to understand that these feelings aren't going to go away on their own. Pisces. Mm. And people ask, oh, by the way, the bird. People ask where the bird is. Somebody asked me the other day, I think it was Mona. She wanted to know where the bird is. Yeah. Uh, he's fine. It, 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 he's a tropical bird, as you all know. And it's, it's been cold here in Los Angeles. It's 59 degrees today. If it's below 65, he just likes to hang out in his cage, which we call the resort, by the way, here at home. Uh, he just likes to sit in there. It's nice. He just hangs out by the fire. I light a little fire in there for him. You know, I don't, but... Anyway, you get the idea. He said, he don't want to be, it's too cold in here. It's too cold. And I don't want to run the heaters because it's too loud. Um, all right. So I freeze my ass off for you motherfuckers. 
right. So, uh, Pisces. Nine. Of, you always get a fucking awesome card. God damn. I'm glad you're my rising sign. Right here, Pisces. It's uh, the Nine of Cups. You got a wish coming true. You got a wish coming true. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this somewhere. Uh, what 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 what? Why is the Nine of Cups here for my Pisces? Why is the Nine of Cups here? Why is the Nine of Cups here? Why why why? What's this wish my Pisces got? Two fish. Come on now. Maybe it's a third fish. I don't I don't know. <laughs> you get one fish on each butt cheek and then another fish in the middle on the other side. I don't know. Right here, justice, you got a wish coming true. It's it's right there. You could the proof is in the pudding. You don't even need me to read the energy. The the justice card, energy balancing, you're getting Pisces is getting justice and a wish coming true is your baseline. It is up to someone's free will though. It's minor arcana. But with justice crossing it, I'd say it's more likely to happen than not. You got a wish coming true. That's actually what that means. What's the top? Mm hmm. Six of Swords. Somebody coming at you very slow. Wants to smooth things out. Wants to fix things. It could be somebody who was with somebody else because she was probably with somebody else over on the uh, dock before she got in the boat. She got her ass in the boat, put her little shawl on, and left that person or that situation or that job or whatever was blocking this thing and they're coming right for you. But, but I'm going to tell you there's no motor on this boat, no Johnson 40 horse outboard on there or anything like that. She's going pretty slow but they are coming towards you. They want to fix things. It's the third slowest energy in the tarot but it is moving unlike the second slowest up here which is not. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Why is the Six of Swords here? Yeah. Coming in to fix things. Eight of Pentacles. Exactly what I said. I read the energy first, then I pull the cards. Any fuckwit can pull cards and then tell you what they mean. I mean, it's right there. It's proof for you. Um, with justice crossing. My God. Oh, it's upright. With justice crossing. My God. I'm going to grab the little animal deck. We're going to have the universe add this up. Hopefully, for each of the 12 signs, you wrote down something that means something to you or you remember something I said that, that, that resonates with you. Okay, Because this is a picture of the soulmate cycle under the, under the current energies right now. This is what it looks like. I guarantee it. All right, I'm pretty good at this shit. Okay? I'm the shit. This is what it looks like. Straight up. And it's because of the 12-12 energy and because we're post-eclipse. This is the perfect day to pull on this. I mean, and it came out exactly as our pre-shuffle would have indicated, really, if we look at it. Let's get three cards and a bottom card from the universe from a fresh deck, an animal deck at that, and a very powerful little deck. And let's see what we got here. Universe, add this up for us. What is this? What is this painting called? We'll, we'll look at it that way, you know? This is the part where Bob Ross signs the painting. Well, we about have a finished painting. We'll go ahead and sign this for us. <laughs> All right, here we go. Give me three cards and a bottom card. What's what's going on? For all my people, the soulmate cycle, all signs pulling from the raw energy of the universe. And boy, it's coming in. Oh, I'm going to fucking tell you. All right, here we go. My God. If I'm right on these two here, this is some beautiful. I mean, as far as the cards coming back, that's unreal. Oh, my God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The bottom card is the King of Pentacles. It's the rainbow antlered buck. What it basically means is stability, of course. But it's, again, if we, we have to look at the big picture here, we have someone who is getting a blast of energy, of positive energy, positive ascending energy. All right? It's ascension. It's someone who's moving up a notch. Okay? And all of you have already. They're getting closer to you. And they're figuring it out. And they're being forced to feel it and sit in it. Now, I keep harping on cancer because I want to because it's the hot spot of the connection. It is feedbacking off of Aries. If you want to really take a look at this reading, look at, just, look at, just look at the corners here. Okay? One, two, three, four. Can, uh, Aries, Cancer, uh, Sagittarius, and um, Pisces. Okay? Every, we got wish fulfilled here, moving slowly towards. We got someone who's awakening to the, who's understanding the connection now, who gets it. 
I can't get rid of this. I can't stop feeling this. This does mean something to me. I got someone here who's feeling the loss. I lost this. Lost what? This connection. Plus a ton of nostalgia. And I told you nostalgia was going to be in the energy. And they are realizing the truth. And I got someone over here who also knows, knows the truth. The reason I said this is feedbacking off of, with, for Cancer off of Aries is because um, the, he holds the Ace of Swords. He holds Archangel Michael's Sword of Truth right there. And they, they know. But uh, we got a lot of stopped energy. It's sort of like a deer in the headlights. That's why I'm making this point. What we've got here is a deer in the headlights. Oh shit. That truck's going to hit me. And you're the truck. And you are going to hit that deer. Most of you. 87% of you are going to run right over <laughs> the deer. Uh, they know your value. They're feeling this connection. They are. And whether they do anything about it or not is always down to free will, but it's going to come out of nowhere. Look at these cards. I haven't even pulled these cards yet, and I'm saying look at these cards. Uh, the, the tower. Knight of Cups. You see what I'm saying? Who's your fucking energy reader? I better be at least your second favorite. My fucking God. I pull my soul out. rip my soul out for you people. Here. And the Page of Cups. My God. Anybody out there ever doubts anything about what I'm doing here? And there's a few that do, a few little prick fuckers. I'll tell you what, I just added up. I just talked about what just fell out of my fucking deck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's a deer in the fucking headlights crossing this here Knight of Cups. It's the center card. They're red. Stop it. Stop it, motherfucker. It's red center, left, right. Right here. They know. They need to come in here. They know. They all know what they lost. They're all being forced to feel it. They're all sitting in it. If your person's with somebody else, the implication is they're not happy there. I see it here, especially with this car. Right? She left that dock. She's like, I don't even care if there's no motor. She didn't even wait for the dock master to put a fucking motor on her boat. She just said, no, I'm out of here. I'll let these fucking birds pull it. I don't care. That kind of thing. It, it's, a, it's a lot of revelations coming to people. It's, it's a, uh, their lives being torn down. I see it with Leo. I see it finally. Somebody's had enough. Right? Somebody's starting a whole new life. Tearing it down. I think it might happen this time. I think Leo's person in particular chickened out many times. I think that son of a bitch ain't chicken out this time. I think the tower is coming down. Or at the very least they're going to have a nervous breakdown if, if it doesn't. And they're all showing up at best feeling bad about what happened so they're downshifting from this night because of the realizations they're having and the fact that they're starting out anew again maybe they're right here they show up as a page the page of cups it's a little apology it is as one of my favorite readers often says I love her for it too she says a little fishy in a cup right it's a little fishy in a cup isn't it yeah it is it's not much it's not enough to feed two people but it's somebody who who knows they fucked up and they're forced to look at it now. And their little five of wands that we started with in the pre-shuffle, their, their little five of wands, neg you know, arguing with themselves, five of wands is weak-ass energy. is bullshit. It's not enough. It's no match for what's on my table here. And when I ask the universe to add it up and I get a fucking tower with a king of pentacles crossing a knight of cups, they know what they need to do if they want to be happy. They're just afraid to do it. Okay? little frady cat here frady cat the, the, at the center of the soulmate cycle cancer the hot spot fear is holding back a king of uh, a, a king of swords king of swords makes a plan and takes action but but he's afraid he's holding back oh what what are they going to say they realize what they did here they realize what they lost i see it with aries right here they realize what they lost they lost something pretty special and i know a lot of you and i can tell you they lost something pretty special because I don't read your surface energy. I read, I go deeper. I see who you, who you are beneath all of that. Yeah, some of you are in your head too much. Yeah, that's just surface though. That's just nonsense. I don't pay attention to. Right? And that's, that's what they're not paying attention to now either. <laughs> that's the kind of thing. They know that you're something very special. I got two in a row down here with Capricorn and Sagittarius. Whose person's waking up to the connection. That affects everybody. You're all connected. If I can get everybody, and it's hard to get 20,000 people on the same page, okay? It's like herding cats, as someone once said on Twitter, and I, I agree. 
everything is energy and everything is connected. We're all connected. This is a connected reading. The whole thing is a picture of what's happening right now and this is just adding it up. So if I were to say what's happening right now, Knight of Cups, Tower, leading to, oh, sh you know, oh shit, leading to a page coming in. It's a page of cups. It's all forward movement. It's all someone seeing your value. And it's all a fucking deer in the headlights, too. <laughs> i tell you what, just for fun, what's underneath that? You want to see what's underneath the King, the, the king of Pentacles here? Because it, it, it would be the card that's fueling the King of Pentacles. I've got communication. Communication. Tower is communication when it, when it comes in this position. You get out of nowhere. Right out of nowhere, and I said that about a couple of the signs and communication. Right, I I have three cards of communication here. Technically, you want to see what's fueling this? Yeah, it's communication. It's eight wands coming out of fucking nowhere. Forward movement, red fucking lightning. I've never seen red fucking lightning, but I think if I ever saw it, I'd probably piss myself. It sounds pretty powerful, and that's your reading. And this is a very powerful reading. I'm on fire today. I have bacon this morning. And you all know what happens when I have bacon. All right. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If I help one person today or this week, I've done my job. You're not going to want to miss this week on Steve's Love Tarot. I got 12-12 Part 2 coming. I'm going to do some wicked voodoo on that motherfucker. I've got several signs getting energy updates. In particular, Leo. You all going to want to tune into that. My Leo readings are the funniest I am. It is, it is, it is, these are good TV. This is better than anything on TV is a Leo reading from me. I'll tell you what, because I've been tracking this motherfucker all year. But a few of you have energy updates coming. I, I'll sort it all out as I go through the week. Uh, but we got some pretty powerful shit happening here. So you're going to want to stick around for sure. And later today, I might, if I have time, and I think I will, do a Schrodinger's cat just for fun. We'll have some fun today on Saturday, okay? That is your reading. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, everybody who watches, okay? I don't care. Just watch. It's fine. All right. Good luck, everyone.